Hey guys, it's Cody with Taking 20 and welcome back to my Roll20 Master Series. So today I have a really short and sweet video plan for you guys and then it's going to be talking about a few different types of shortcuts and why you should be using shortcuts in your games. I hope you're ready. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about shortcuts is Roll20 kind of has two types of shortcuts. They sort of have this shortcut list that's kind of by default that is turned on for everybody's game by default. And then they also have these shortcuts that they call advanced shortcuts that you actually have to turn on in your game before you can start using them. So to do that, and by the way, that's the one I would recommend, is go ahead and just turn on the advanced shortcuts because you should be using more shortcuts in your games. So go over here to the cog wheel, your settings tab, and then you'll notice right here at the very top, right underneath your master music volume level, is a little checkbox called Use Advanced Keyboard Shortcuts. And if you want, you can either, even highlight over this, and that will take you right into their kind of the list. It'll pull up their wiki page with all the list of their advanced shortcuts. Let me show you a few of these, and uh, you can probably see pretty quickly why mastering these will uh, make your games go much quicker and smoother. So by default we're here in the objects and tokens layer and if you turn this on you can just hit O that'll take you to the objects and tokens layer. If you hit K that will take you to the GM info layer. If you hit L, whoops, not L, M <laughs> is the map layer. And so you can bounce between layers and layers and layers very quickly. Now, you can even move objects and tokens to other layers with the advanced shortcuts. So I can go LM, and now I've actually moved this, as you can see up here at the top, I'm now back in the map and background layer. And this object here, this drawing, this, this tile set, is in fact on the map layer underneath of the grid overlay. To move it back, LO, and there you have it. And there's a few different shortcuts to, to do besides just actually changing layers. Let me show you what else you can do. Another very simple one is you can just simply use your arrow keys. In case you didn't know this, uh, I didn't know this when I first started, that you can actually use your arrow keys to move tokens around that you have control over. So there's another one for you. Another really great one that uh, I found personally useful was the scroll and that's always been a big pain for me is having to kind of shift out and zoom out on my maps and zoom back in in different areas I use this little toolbar up here to do that right and I can zoom in and out but if you hold down the alt button and then scroll with your mouse wheel you can actually zoom in and out just by doing that without actually having to play around with the um, I'm going to call this the scroll bar, if you will. So there are a lot of shortcuts. They have a list of maybe, I don't know, maybe, I'm looking at the list now, maybe 25, 25, 30 different shortcuts that you can kind of learn. Uh, and I think that they are absolutely worth the time. And I think it helps, you know, the more familiar, familiar you are, especially if you're using dynamic lighting. That is a big plus to be able to hit the uh, uh, hit the dynamic lighting layer with just a quick button and move a doorway out and move back to the object layer or even to take your monsters that have been left in your GM and info layer and just two buttons boom they're popped out without having to click on them go down to advance move the layer without having to do any of that it's a much faster and easier way to navigate through roll 20 and it's something I highly recommend you guys learn and they go beyond all this stuff. You can even change your toolbar sets. So like FF will take me into the draw tool. Um, what is it? Let's see. FR will take me into the draw shape. Q takes me into my measure tool. I can go over to my text tool with just FD and start typing away. S, by selecting S, it will take me right back into my select tool. And I can even pull up the turn tracker with one button which is why. So there are a lot of different advanced uh, keyboard shortcuts that you guys can use. If you don't want to use the advanced ones, you can always use the basic ones. 
which are a lot more limited. I think they mostly change uh, layers and stuff like that. They don't let you change your tools as well. Uh, or and I don't think they let you move objects to another layer, which is the main reason why I have decided to start using the advanced uh, sh keyboard shortcuts. So um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I, I hope you learned something new. I hope you guys will actually try to use more shortcuts in your games to help them run smoother. That's what all these videos have been about. That's what the whole Roll20 Master series has really been about is to master Roll20 so that you guys can focus more on your actual game, not the tools that it takes to run your game. If this is your first time here and you love role playing games as much as I do, I'd love to have you subscribe. Uh, I'll be putting out new videos every week on DM tips, player tips, Roll20 tutorials, all kinds of things. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button down below and come join us. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cody, and may your games be filled with awesome memories and even better friends. I'll catch you guys next time. One, two, three. You didn't know you got to say it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right, kiddo. I love you.